the video game movie curse just might be broken because, man, if future video game movies look at this as a template and decide to do what this did, and that is the span of what we get for the future, there's a lot of hope for video game movies if they decide to use this as their template. Because the first 10 minutes alone have a ton of references and Easter eggs to the world of Mario. And that is just the first 10 minutes. There was a lot of passion, effort, and absolute love put into this. And it's quick but effective 80 minute runtime there are plenty more Easter eggs and references galore. Mario fans, you are going to have an absolute smorgasbord of references to please you. And now, does it work as a film, even if you're not super deep into the Mario lore? Yes. Yes, it does. This is an extremely crowd-pleasing film that can be enjoyed by everybody, regardless of age, regardless of experience with Mario, even if you haven't played a Mario game in your life. Now, the world of this movie is very bright and vibrant and is super fun to spend time in, the characters and world are incredibly well animated, with a lot of expression, but it's also careful not to be so exaggerated that it takes you out of it. Now, the plot does move a little fast, but then again, this is Mario. There's not much plot to draw from from the games anyway, as honestly, they're relatively simple and they're kind of all the same, but that's also part of the charm. That's also why it's had such mass appeal over 40 years. Now, since the trailer came out, people have been very divided on the casting of Chris Pratt as Mario. And in my opinion, I think for the most part, he did a great job. The voice acting in this film is nearly seamless, feeling true to the spirit of the characters. Now, every once in a while, Pratt's real voice will seep through for like one or two words, but it's honestly not that big of an issue. It wasn't super glaring. For the most part, yes, this is Mario. And the best performance by far in this movie is Jack Black as Bowser. He absolutely steals the show. He has a ton of fun, and his voice is pretty unrecognizable for most of the film. The only time it even sounds like Jack Black is when he sings his villain song. But when he speaks, it's a totally different voice. He really made it his own, and it feels absolutely perfect for the character of Bowser. Really, the only performance I had an issue with was Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. And even then, it's not a bad performance. It just, it just sounds exactly like Seth Rogen. Everyone is trying their hardest to make their performances feel like their characters. But then you got Seth Rogen, who just sounds like Seth Rogen. Not even bothering to disguise his voice even a bit. Now, Rogen's voice does fit the character of Donkey Kong to some degree, but it also makes it harder to separate the two. And I do have one or two issues with the film. Mainly, there's an overuse of pop songs in this film, and it doesn't fit. Like, one of the first times they use this is this training montage when Mario first enters the Mushroom Kingdom, where he's trying to learn about how to use the power-ups, and this scene is straight out of the Mario platformers. It feels like you're watching someone play the game, and that's a good thing. But instead of using the actual Mario music, which would have made this scene infinitely better, they instead to use the song, I Need a Hero. Okay, I mean, Shrek 2 already did that, so that's okay. And there's another scene that uses the song Thunderstruck, and again... This scene could have just been score from the games. Now, in something like Shrek, like I mentioned earlier, using real-world songs in a fantasy setting works, because in that film, it's anachronistic. But here, it feels so out of place. Now, those aren't totally glaring issues, but those choices did somewhat leave me bewildered. But the Super Mario Brothers is a wildly entertaining crowd pleaser, perfect for all ages. It's definitely worth the coins. For me, it gets an A-, 9 out of 10, and four out of five stars, and even then, those are nitpicks. It is amazing, go see it, it's fantastic.